and welcome once again to another fantastic edition of Atomic Tutorials. My name is Dr. Wasabi, and in today's upload, we are making the missile turret from Fallout 76. Honestly, credit goes to Professor here. This is a great model. It kind of encompasses all of the Fallout philosophy when it comes to overall design, including those slick organic curves. You'll find this asset in the Cranberry Bog as part of the event to defend, I believe, yes, defend uh, various patches of land in the region from Scorch Beasts. So there you go. For this build, you'll need a variety of items. Now, most of these are pretty easy to get. Um, the only ones that I will recommend a block switch if you're in survival and you can't get the materials is the blackstone if you can't get this then deep slate works just as fine is just that i've used this as a more textural block to better fit the model that we are making so for the missile turret you'll need red stained glass panes red concrete red carpet red sandstone walls acacia wood stairs acacia wood slabs acacia signs Case trap doors, polished granite slabs, iron bars, glass furnaces, polished blackstone buttons, polished blackstone stairs, polished blackstone slabs, and dark oak fence gates. Now there you go for the block pellet, so I think without further ado, let's get on with our time lapse.
and we are back from our time lapse now before i show you anything anything at all i just want to say if you do like what i do if you like my content then please like this video and subscribe to my channel doing so helps spread my channel amongst the blessed youtube algorithm and of course it helps spread my content to you amazing just fantastic folks so let's see what we built so far i really like how this came out usually with a lot of these technical builds it is a bit more difficult because you have to get the components right even the button or some technical machine texture has to be replicated in a block format and i think i've been able to do that pretty well there was some kind of debate um, when i was designing this on the overall size of the build but i think this is a correct assumption of the overall uh, size perception i i think at least so yeah there we go now i have prepared some other models for you over here we have a model which is essentially the default model you'll find this in the cranberry bog and it's operated by the brotherhood of steel now because this is such a heavy piece of machinery i thought that it might have other stories perhaps it was a pre-war uh weapons asset that the brotherhood picked up so i made a bunch of models this one is a army variation this is using the usual wax copper uh, green carpet and of course green terracotta just to have that kind of army camouflage insignia of course i've kept the base flat because that's more of an industrial part it doesn't really need changing of course if you're on survival like i've said um at the start you may need to change this to deep slate if you can't afford it but that is okay you do what you need to do folks over here we have more of a prototype model so this is fresh out of the factory it hasn't got any paint on it so this is kind of sporting a light gray concrete and stone veneer which I think is quite a, uh, a nice touch. Um, I always like to see how these models actually look if they just came out of the factory because it gives an element of story to them, I think. And the last model variation is a Enclave variation with a full sporting of polished deep slate and, of course, grey concrete to complement the design. So there you have it, the missile turret from Fallout 76. I'm so glad that you came along to watch my stuff. So please, please, please like and subscribe my name has been dr wasabi i wish you a most pleasant good evening and of course as always god bless and now folks it's time to say good night we sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in providing you with an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Stay happy and come back again soon. Good night!